one of Germany's top broadcasters has sparked disbelief after she compared Boris Johnson to Hungary's far-right leader Viktor Orban. Annette Dittit, who won an award for her reporting on Brexit in 2019 claimed that the Prime Minister's attacks on the British rule of law could wreak permanent damage on the UK. Ms. Dittit said this could happen, even if his party ended up replacing him because the multitude of scandals that have engulfed him could jeopardise the Tories' next election. The senior correspondent and bureau chief for German state broadcaster Ard in London went on to quote right-wing commentator Peter Oborn. He claimed that Mr. Johnson was appointed to win the Tory party elections. Mr. Oborn went on, instead he waged war on traditional Britain. The man I knew well was an internationalist. Now we have a nationalist xenophobe. Ms. Dittit went on to say Mr. Johnson, was more like Mr. Orban than a Democratic Party leader. The leader of the Eastern European right-wing Fidesz party has attracted widespread condemnation for his treatment of migrants and the LGBT community. He has also been accused of curtailing press freedom, eroding judicial independence and undermining multi-party democracy in Hungary. Ms. Dittik claimed that the actions of Mr. Johnson and specifically his Home Secretary Priti Patel have sparked worries that the UK is on the way to a police state. This centered on the controversial police. Crime, Sentencing and Courts Bill which is currently going through Parliament amid fierce opposition over claims it will curtail the right to peaceful protest. She claimed that the series of scandals that have recently engulfed the Prime Minister and his government are hiding that Mr. Johnson is trying to massively rebuild the country's legal system. A comparison with Hungary is making the rounds. Quote. Hardly a day goes by on the island without new scandals regarding Boris Johnson and his government. New photos of exuberant Christmas parties in lockdown show the bewildered British that the strict rules that their government imposed on them clearly did not apply to Johnson himself and his employees. A pattern that is also evident when you take a closer look behind the scenes. Because Mr. Johnson's own claim to be above law and order has long since infected his cabinet.